Greetings, YouTube. What a way to wake up, right? Let's just kind of log into the game, see how the uh, champs are doing, maybe burn some energy, and then another emergency maintenance. Now, this video isn't just about this, of course. You see, last night was date night for me. I was out of town. Drove three hours round trip to try to get away from my phone and basically pretend like I had a life outside of this mobile video game. The problem was that I got to the destination early, so I opened up my line messages to try to you know catch up on what was unread. And of course, I had crazy amount of line app messages and comments on my YouTube videos that I had preset to post for that night about the arena glitch, which thankfully, for those of you who figured it out, there was a workaround where you could look for catalysts and get through the back entrance, but still, some people never figured that out. Some people lost valuable hours. So last night, we already had an arena issue that caused us to, uh, to have people who lost the ability until they figure out, figured it out before the scheduled maintenance to actually grind in the arena. This was, of course, just a day after we had the Alliance Quest issues, which for a few summoners, unfortunately, carried over into day two, which turned into day one, uh, where their team originally was still locked out of Alliance Quest, so the only way they could join was with a different team. And a few summoners, you know, you only have three, like, really, really good attackers, and so, yeah, you can bring three others in, but it's a huge issue where suddenly you're risking having to use potions or revives or units to clear it because your best champions are literally locked out because of the glitch of the previous day's Alliance Quest bug. But then, last night, we had our scheduled maintenance, which, those of you across the pond, you might just get to sleep through, but if you slept through it and you don't know, they had promised us for the second time in a row it would be up to two hours, and it was almost two and a half hours, which also was not encouraging. So, between the Alliance Quest bug that forced us to miss a day, but then also some alliances had to figure out things so they didn't miss two days. And then the scheduled maintenance that went long, and now this emergency maintenance, and the arena bug. If you look at everything combined together in a very short amount of time, you've got people messaging me who are upset. And, you know, whenever I talk about complaints in the game, I, I can always count on a few people saying, well, these are just entitled summoners who... You know, who cares if the game goes down? You should be just thankful the game exists in the first place. And the problem with that mindset is that it dismisses what the company used to do before they sold it. And that was any time the game went down for any reason, they did two things. One, at minimum, they had an apology ready to go in the in-game inbox, not buried on the forums, but in the in-game inbox so that everybody saw it no matter what when they logged in. And then there was usually just a small amount of items. It was like maybe a couple revives and potions. Uh, not even crystal shards back then. But it didn't matter. What mattered was that they immediately apologized, owned up to it, and wanted to basically be as transparent as possible about their mistakes. Now it feels like the only way we get compensation is if they make so many mistakes that they're like, you know what, it's, it has been a historic amount, so we should, uh, we should address it at some point. And even though the compensation ends up being like really good, last time it was, what, like a five-star crystal plus a lot of items, um, it's more of just having them be transparent that matters to me. And then obviously, the more this emergency maintenance lasts, when you've got people who still need to do and clear Alliance Quest and, you know, everything else that happens in the game, um, you're just setting yourself up to frustrate your player base. And so it is imperative that after the series of 48 hours of mistakes that Kabam actually is transparent, uh, gives some form of compensation at some point. I'm not expecting this to appear when this emergency maintenance actually ends. 
but it's just been a week, right? And there are a lot of things to be excited about the game right now, especially the Summon Appreciation Calendar being back. We've got a boss rush coming. Uh, we've got arena improvements hopefully coming. We've got, um, you know, things that they're trying to be transparent about and improve, and that's appreciated. But it's been a week, and whenever it's a week, Kabam needs to address all of these things immediately, put an apology in the endgame inbox, and then hopefully have some form of compensation. But uh, I hear you, YouTube, even though I didn't make a video about it because I was, again, trying to have a life last night. I got all your arena messages, and... On top of that, your messages about the scheduled maintenance going long. And then on top of that, what this video is actually being made about, which is, of course, the emergency maintenance. Huh. Hopefully, by the time I post this on YouTube and it processes, this maintenance will be over. But until then, um, I hope you're able to have a good day, a good morning. However it is that you are watching this, thanks for the support. As always, I hear your frustration, and that is the purpose of this video.